while it's kind of cold in the studio, I thought I'd work on a face because that's when the clay is the stiffest and uh, makes it a little easier to make little detailed carvings into the face. And uh, so that's what I'm going to do today. Time to play with some clay. I'm not going to do much today. This is Tuesday, of course. And uh, I'm got, thinking about starting a new set of projects. I, uh, like I said, I've got nine instructional videos available online that you can order. I just uh, had a gentleman order all nine of mine yesterday, or the day, yeah, yesterday. And I sent him a three, three videos that aren't listed, really good videos, that uh, extra. So he got a total of 12 videos yesterday. I hope he's happy with them. And I'm going to do that from now on. I'm just going to. start putting bonus videos out there if you buy more than one video you get one extra video and if you buy all videos all of them you get uh, three bonus videos I got the order and 10 minutes later he had the uh, videos via email so it's a good deal okay that was the advertisement now I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do Ian McKellen who's uh better known as Gandalf the Wizard on the uh, Hobbit series, movies, has a great iconic face. I'm thinking about showing how to do a bust of an old man. And I'm going to try to figure out how to do it easily. Not going through all the anatomy and everything like that, just basically starting out and showing the simple ways of getting started on it. So that's what I'm thinking of doing. I don't know. Don't know if I'm going to do it yet. I just have the idea. I've got several faces I've been looking at and I'm showing them here. Uh... Got these off of uh, Google. I did a search for old man, old men's faces for artists. Whenever you want to refine your search for something to do with artwork, always end your search line with for artists because if you don't, you'll get a whole bunch of other crap that you don't want. Anyway, that's what I'm thinking of doing. I'm not going to work on this much longer. I think today's going to probably be the last day I work on it. And the reason for that is because I haven't got any sold. And there's no galleries right now that I'm going to be able to put it in because the winter season is not really the season to sell artwork and uh, there's a gallery locally going to be opening up uh, here as soon as he gets it done and uh, I'll be putting my artwork in that gallery I'm, I'm also in a gallery down in Jackson Hole 
at the uh, Mountain Trails Gallery. So if you ever get down to Jackson Hole, look up Mountain Trails Gallery. It's just off the square. And I'll place some of my clays either in his local gallery or down there, or a combination of both. I haven't decided yet. Now, as you can see, I'm only using one camera again today. It's a real pain we're using both gallery cameras. It's great, but uh, trying to keep track of both cameras is a, well, a real pain. <laughs> I just want to concentrate on his face, not on the cameras. I thought I'd let you know about a uh, website uh, that I discovered recently called Artnet City. It is made for uh, creative people like myself, not uh, for just sculptors, though, just whatever your hobby or profession is, it could be useful for you. It is not completely finished yet. I think it's still in the beta stage, but on the final version of the site you will be able to upload your portfolio uh, sell things you make and provide services related to your profession all in one place and I, that's a good thing there are also a lot of other cool features but if you are interested you can find out more about them yourself i will leave the link uh, in the video description below this video I'm really liking this guy's look on his face. I gotta think how I'm gonna do my wrinkles. But he's, he could only be maybe 40 years old, so he wouldn't probably have too many. All right, that's going to be it for tonight, and uh, I'll come back and work on it some more um, at another time. I got to work on these hands, and I got to figure out how I'm going to get back there.
to work on those hands. Um, I got the hair started at least, and uh, I'll let that uh, sit for a few days, and and when I come back to it next time, uh, whatever down the road, uh, I'll look at it with fresh eyes and and either improve it or not improve it. Just believe it the way it is. But anyway, that's uh, oh, and I I think I've come up with a new title for it. Um, in fact, yeah. I'm thinking about calling it Scouting for Beaver or Scouting for Plues. Plues is what they call the, the uh, fur of beaver, uh, weasels, uh, ermine, all kinds of uh, animals that uh, had uh, soft, desirable fur, foxes. So uh, certain, searching for Plues seems like... Uh, a good title because he very well could be out on a scouting trip just uh, you know looking for a new valley uh, with uh, good prospects all right good night everybody and I'll see you next time I hope your Christmas is wonderful please give me a like and a subscribe and ring the little bell also don't forget i have instructional videos available now online the link below this video shows you a link to a review of all nine videos later everybody good night